Hello, everybody. Welcome to Children's Day 2018. Amen? Amen. We have a key verse, and I want everyone to listen. If the audiovisual can give us this, it will be great. Psalm 8, verse 2, which says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Amen? Amen? We pray that out of the mouth of these babes, that the Lord God Almighty will steal the power of the avenger. Amen. And God will work miracles through them. Amen. So it's our time to sing. And when you do children's church, ain't no sitting down. Stand up, please. So, do you all know Father Abraham had many sons? Do you know he had many daughters too? And he has grandchildren of which I'm one of them. Are you with me? Oh, I said, are you with me? Uh, you guys had pounded yam for breakfast. Are you with me? Yes. You had Weetabix. Are you with me? Yes. No, you had conflicts. Are you with me? Yes. I think you just woke up. Good. So, Father Abraham had many sons. Okay? Children, you're not going to sit too. I know it's your day. Oh, you just want to watch them. You just want to watch them. Yeah, it feels good because they, you know, you know, Okay, so they're just going to watch you guys. Okay. Okay. Father Abraham had many sons. Please sing out. Many sons had father. It's too slow. I can't see you. You are getting it. I, I like that. I like this. Oh, come on. So let's just praise the.
not the whole world. I think so. In fact, no, 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 no. I'm not, I don't think so. I know he's got the whole world in his hands. You got to stand up, please. Uh-huh. Everybody, everybody. I say, I look at Sister Shireen's face. She's like, give me a break. Not again. Okay. He's got the whole world. today thank you for all the good things you've done for us please bless this service help us to do your will please help this service be a success thank you for all the people who are here thank you for everything you've done for us in name of Jesus I pray
I still have lungs to breathe and a uh, heart to live. So, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Um, I thank God for parents who direct me in the correct path. Um, I thank God for um, me doing good at school and getting good grades. I thank God for making me. I thank God that I can eat. I thank the Lord for uh, giving me a new baby brother. I thank God for a family who supports me. For divine protection. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. All right. I thank God for helping me to uh, see my high school graduation successfully. Amen. Amen. I thank God I can walk. Amen. Um, I'd like to thank God for educating me mm. musically and like school as well. School as well. Yeah. Come on, Palessa, you, st you stand up and let's let the world hear you. Come on. I thank God for my mom and dad. I thank God for letting me have a um, new school book because I lost my other one. Um, I thank God for sending his son um, down to earth to die for us. I thank God for saving my soul. Amen. Great as that. Go on, son. I thank God that my parents are Christian. I thank God for giving me a wonderful family. God bless you. I thank God for saving my soul. I thank God that I'm alive. I thank God for Children's Day. I I thank God for giving me a home. Yeah. You see, stand up. I thank God for giving me a heart. Amen. Go on. I thank God that I have a heart, um, a voice. A voice. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God especially for my son Joshua. When I had him about nine months and um, going to nursery, there was a lot of complaints. He couldn't speak. He couldn't do anything. He was referred to speech and therapies. I had to abandon my career. And I sat down at home, carrying him everywhere they referred me to. But I want to thank God that today, he's not only speaking, he's doing excellently in school. Amen. He's getting awards, he's representing his school. Amen. Not only that, he's also playing instrument. It's, 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 the, it's the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in my sight. I want to give God the, grace, the praise. Amen. Amen. I thank God for sanctifying me at Eve Camp. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow with ceaseless praise. Let them flow.
Happy Children's Day. I know you all look so surprised to see me here. I'm just as surprised as you are. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, the children have been so amazing today. I just love listening to them sing. It reminds me of when I was younger than this and singing in church and how happy and just joyful I was. And I just pray that the praises will not cease from their lips in Jesus' name. Amen. So um, we've been told that the verse for today is Psalm 8, verse 2. And I would really like if one of the um, kids could read that verse for us. Psalms 8, verse 2. Okay. There's another, there's another verse, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's projected. It's projected. Can you see? Okay. Out, of, out of the mouth of ba babies and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Amen. Eight, chapter 8, verse 2. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just wanted them to say it because that's what the Bible says, they're out of their mouths. Um, so when I got this verse, it just made me think because it seems so kind of, I know the Bible says that the wisdom of God is foolishness to us, um, but it just seems so silly that a baby would be through what God will ordain praise that will be able to destroy the enemies. Um, and when this just says that when we praise God, we confirm that he's good and that he's strong because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. We can't stand here and be strong against the enemy by our own power. As the Bible says, out of the mouths of babes, that's how God has done it. It's obviously not the child that has the strength, but it's God behind that child that gives it the strength. And... Um, Jesus also said the same thing. So in this verse, it was David that was saying it, that out of the mouth of Bay, he was saying it unto God. But the fact that Jesus also repeated this verse confirms that this is so true. So in Matthew chapter 21, verse 16, if we turn our Bibles to that, um, another, probably a girl, could read this verse for us, please. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? Amen. Yeah, um, I just want to show you, just illustrate this verse to you. So I'm going to use Micah that everyone knows because he's a baby. Thank you. Can everybody see Micah? Yeah. So, um, do you think that Micah could punch me? No. Do you think that Micah could pick me up? No. Do you think that Micah could beat me up? No. Do you think that Micah could make me food? No. Okay. Well, what I'm trying to illustrate is that God, who is so much bigger than I am, I'm only five foot two, but God is so much bigger than I am, and all of you, but he's saying that out of our mouths, he has ordained strength. That's where the strength comes from, for us to defeat the enemy. And it means, and also, when we praise God, it means that we can only praise something that we enjoy, so I'm just going to give Um and it means that when we praise God, it means that we enjoy him because you can't praise something that you don't enjoy. So um, I just wondered if anyone's watched Frozen here? Frozen? Yes. Or Black Panther, the movies. Yeah, I can see your hands. When we watch these things, we want to tell all our friends about it. When Frozen came out, that was all everyone was talking about, how much they loved it. When Black Panther came out, even I was talking about it. The next thing I'll say in the conversation is, have you seen it? You should see it. That was because I enjoyed it. And in the same way, God wants us to enjoy him so that we can praise him. Because when we enjoy him, it won't be so difficult for us, for, for us to praise him. It will just flow from our hearts. It will be spontaneous. Um, it won't be anything that we can 
do by ourselves, but it will just come out because we enjoy God. So, and you know, another example is if anyone's ever like a child, if you've gone to Disneyland or Disney World, when you go, literally everything that you talk about is going to be related to Disneyland somehow. Your friend will be laughing. You say, oh yeah, that was how I was laughing at Disneyland. Or someone will eat something. You say, oh yeah, I had that at Disneyland. Why? Because you enjoy that experience and you want everybody to know about it. In the same way, this verse is saying that if you, if you experience God and enjoy him so much, it won't be so difficult for you to tell of his goodness. It won't be so difficult for you to tell your friends how good he is, how kind he is, how loving he is. Um, and this is just what God wants us to, to do, to love him so much that we can't but express it in the way that we talk, in the way that we act. Just everything about us will ooze God because you have enjoyed him. And the only way that you can enjoy God is if you, um, is if you experience him yourself. So if your friend were to tell you that they went to Disneyland, for example, and you want to tell your other friend why Disneyland is so great, you won't have the same passion to tell your friend about Disneyland because you haven't been there. You don't know what is there. You don't know the rides that are there. You don't know the characters that are there. You don't know the food that they serve. You don't know anything about it. So you can start saying, yeah, Disneyland is great, but you don't really, there's nowhere else for you to go because you, don't, you haven't actually experienced it for yourself. So as we go back to this verse, the only way that we can praise God truly and experience him is if we accept him into our hearts. Yeah. If you yeah. come to him today and say, Jesus, I want you in my life. I want to experience you so that I can praise you, so that I can be strong. Because if, if you don't have God, then you're weak. Because that's what the Bible is saying. If we can't praise him, then you're weak. As Michael is a baby, as we establish, he can't do anything to me because he's a baby. If he doesn't want my help, if, he, if I try to carry him to give him food or if his mom tries to help him to, to feed him and he says no, then he is, he's just weak. He can't do anything. But if he says yes, hi, mom, carry me and cries for attention, then he becomes strong. He's able to do all those things that he wasn't able to yeah. do on his own. Yeah. In the same way, if we say to God today, if you guys say to God right now that, God, I want to be so strong. I want to start my life very strong. I want to be able to succeed academically. I want to be a successful person. This verse is saying that that can only happen if you have God, because God is so big. Um, one of the, the, the verses in the Bible that really touches me is when he says that God is so big that he, he puts his foot on the earth. The earth is his footstool. So um, as I said, I'm, I'm quite I'm small. So every time I sit in my house, in my sofa, my feet cannot reach the ground. So I always have, I know, yeah. <laughs> so I always have a footstool. And of course, the footstool is only small. It can't be... You know, it can't be like even a quarter of me because it's a footstool. In the same way, this entire earth yeah. is like that to God. Yeah. And it's probably even bigger. That's the only way that God could say it for us to, to understand what he's saying. So that's how strong we can be because we have God. We can be so strong that there's nothing. Even this earth will be too small for us to conquer if we have God. Because God is much bigger than our minds could ever imagine. Yeah. And so um, I don't want to sort of say too much, but I want to say that if you, if you experience God today, if you come to him today and say, Jesus, I want, to, I want to enjoy you so that I can be strong, so that I can sing your praises every day of my life, through that, because when we praise God, we can defeat the enemy. In the, um, when the children of Israel were walking around the walls of Jericho, all they were doing was singing. They were just singing and circling around. Because they had God, ordinarily, if they were just singing, nothing would happen. But because they were singing praises to God as they walked around that wall, the wall came, it had no choice because it's insignificant when compared to God. So in the same way, no matter what you might be going through, maybe at school, maybe a subject is difficult for you, maybe you're being bullied, maybe you don't have friends, maybe your family is going through a difficult time. But once you experience God, ask him to come into your life today. You will have the strength to overcome any situation. You will have the strength to, to sing out his praises, even when it's so difficult. But because you've enjoyed him, because you know how good he can be, even when it doesn't seem that it's good right now, 
you will just have peace and you will still be happy in the midst of your, your sadness. So I just want to invite you guys today to come and ask Jesus to come into your life because only him can, can really help you. Only God can really sort of show you the path in which you should go. Only God can make you a success. Nothing in this world is, is worth it. Nothing is worth it. Everybody out there, they don't, they're looking for what you have right now. They're seeking. They're seeking for people to tell them about God. And you have this opportunity at this such, such a young age. I mean, I know that everything that I learned as a child is what has helped me to become who I am today. I remember all those tiny books I love to read. But um, I remember all these tiny books that my parents got for me about the Bible stories and how they really helped me. Reading those books really helped me at school. I'm not even just saying that because I have to say it. But they really did because I was reading so much that when I got to school, I was way, way beyond. I was reading the Bible cover to cover by, by before the age of 10. And that was because of all the things that I've learned that there's nowhere else for me to go apart from God. So I want to invite you guys to come to the altar today. This is going to be the children's altar for today. You can, adults can pray where you are. But if you haven't asked God to come into your life today, come and ask him. Come and ask him and enjoy him and experience him today. Amen. before you we are praying yeah. Jesus please come into our hearts Amen. we want you to make us strong we want you to really save our souls we want you to sanctify us to fill us with your spirit Lord Jesus come into our heart right now thank you for dying for us on the cross of Calvary thank you for the blood that was shed for us Lord we are before you come and bless us Amen. bless the children Amen. bless the adults we want to go home rejoicing because you are a mighty God, because you are a great God. Thank you, Jesus, for Children's Day. Thank you. We know that you will save us today as we cry out to you. Like little babies, you will take us in your hand and you will bless us. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.